Hey guys, what is up? Cappy here and I hope you all are well. I'm back with yet another guide and this one will be covering all the crafting recipes in DZ. I have a couple other guides lined up too so make sure to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss them. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and as always let me know in the comments if you have any questions. Let's get started. So first of all we'll start with the recipes aim more for a survival with little to no gear. If you combine a t-shirt, jacket, pants or uh, some any other clothing with any knife you can make rags to bandage yourself. Combine a burlap sack with a rope to make a carrier bag. Also, you can combine boar pelt with a rope to craft this bag. Next, combine this bag with three short sticks to make an improvised bag which will add extra slots in it. If you can't find a rope, you can craft one by combining guts with a knife or combining two stacks of six rags each. Combine rags with a stick to make a fireplace to cook your food or to warm up when it's raining. You can put your meat on a long stick by attaching it to the designated slot and that's how you cook it over the fireplace. Attach firewood if possible, that will make the fire last longer. This is the spot for a tripod which you can craft and you have to find that, then you can add cooking pot on top of the tripod. Make sure to fill your pot with water before cooking anything in it. If you don't have matches, you can combine wood bark, which you can get from any tree using a knife, with a short stick to make a hand drill to start a fire. You can craft a fire barrel from a regular barrel using a knife and you will have a persistent fireplace that will stay in your base or wherever you place it. You can combine gas canister with a gas stove to cook, but you'll also need cooking pot with it. You can also use gas canister with a gas lamp to create a source of light. If you can't find food and you need to catch some, combine a long stick with a rope to make an improvised fishing rod. If you don't have a fishing hook, you can craft one by combining bones with a knife. Once you have a hook, look down at the ground with a knife in your hands to dig up some worms. Combine a hook with a worm to make a fishing bait and add that to your fishing rod and you are ready to go and catch some fish.
almost forgot, but you can also add stones to your fireplace to make it last longer, or you can craft a stone furnace, which is even better I believe, but it's still not persistent. Also, if you combine a stick with a rag, you can make a torch, which can also be a source of light and heat when you're cold. Don't forget to light it up. If you combine wooden planks with nails, you can make wooden boxes that are persistent and you can store your stuff, tools or whatever you want in there and place it somewhere where only you can find it. That's about it from the survival recipes, now time for some military ones. First, if you have a Gorka helmet, you can attach a visor to it. I don't know if that actually adds any um, extra armor or it just looks cooler. Also, if you attach utility backpack to an assault vest, You'll get one item that's still used as a vest and you can still wear a different backpack with it. For a plate carrier, you can add pouches to it to have more storage as well as the gun holster and that will hold your uh, handgun. Combine any raincoat with a knife to make colored armbands for you and your group. You can add nails to a baseball bat to make it more powerful and of course more cool. You can also make a full ghillie suit and in order to make that you will need to make burlap strips by using knife on a burlap sack and combine a whole bunch of strips with a netting. Craft a ghillie hood, gun wrap, and a full suit. Remember, with full suit you will not be able to wear a backpack, so be prepared to carry light stuff. You can also craft a saline bag by combining IV starting kit with a saline bag. That will help your character to deal with a blood loss as it will increase blood gain after you get shot or cut. Also, you can drain your own blood when healthy and infuse yourself with it when needed. For that you'll need a blood bag and IV start kit. Make sure you only do that with your own blood or someone that has the same type of blood.
You can also craft a suppressor by combining empty water bottle with a duct tape. Please keep in mind that this suppressor will only last through a few shots as it will get ruined quite quickly. I think this covers about all of it. Let me know in the comments if I missed something or if you have any other questions or suggestions. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and found it helpful and see you on the next one. Cheers!